Hey my lovely Sagittarians. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do, well, your love reading within a month's time. It's supposed to be for June, but obviously we're at the end of June, so we're going into July. Time is fluid and my readings are timeless, so whenever you click on this, basically, it's that's my intention is within a month's time from the day I do the reading or the day you view the reading. Anyways, this is a general reading. It will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that, but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information information you need on personal. It's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Support your girl over there. These will be extended over there. Um, over here, this is my intertwined spread. I'm like, somebody has something they want to say, but they don't. They, d they can't find the right word, so somebody's heavily thinking about um, communicating with you, or you're heavily thinking about communicating with, with someone, but it's like, it's weird, because I feel old and new, so for those of you who this is an ex-person, or even a past person, it doesn't always have to be an ex-boyfriend, or girlfriend, or husband, or wife, it can be just someone you've known for a long time, um, someone who's had a crush on you, maybe you were friends, maybe you weren't. Um, but whatever, whoever this person is to you, because some of it is stagnant energy, while other, well, I feel like for some of you, it's new, and even with someone old, it can still be new energy, like, resurfacing, but there's something someone wants to say, whether it's just to out their feelings to you and finally admit that they have these feelings, or that they want to come back, there's something going on here. I feel like there's a return somebody's contemplating we are in retrograde so that makes sense but anyways I feel like somebody is like rehearsing what to say um like trying to find the right time to say it looking for that spot anyways this is my intertwined spread so this is mutual energy it's going on between the two of you headspace uh possible communication either what needs to be said or what has been said because some of you have already heard from this person old or new mutual feelings and then wants and or needs your feelings their feelings um because this is your side this is their side and then expectations this is overall energy that i pulled on i was gonna say on youtube on patreon we're gonna cover obstacles and blocks actions outcomes um advice and potentially what they want to say to you so i already did Sagittarius reading the other night and it was insane what came out. I just uploaded it. It's unlisted right now and I'm debating on whether or not I want to post it as like a bonus reading or something. I might have to rewatch it and just see how it went because my energy just kind of flatlined during the reading and not just that. It was... <sighs> It was like there was a lot of confusion and there was a psycho mom. I'm just going to say there is a mother who is out to get someone because, you know, she is very protective of her child, male, female, whatever. I saw a son, like mama boy energy, but bad um, to the point of sabotaging a connection. If you have a relationship or did have one in the past, that kind of sounds... Oh, if that sounds familiar, like you had a meddling mother-in-law or a meddling mother yourself, um, that reading could be for you. I'll, I'm debating whether or not I want to post it. If you want me to post it, just let me know in the comments below, but I was like, I gotta redo this. So anyways, overall energy, we have working too hard, and I feel like you guys are not working too hard on love or the connection. You're working too hard, like legit, um, like workaholic, putting your head down at work, doing what you need to do. I feel like saving my money, busting my ass, um, not even making time to do the things that I love. Um, it's just like work, 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 and no play. All work and no play. Um, I feel like that could have been a problem between you and this person, especially if this is an ex of yours, this person probably chose their job over you or vice versa. Maybe you chose your job over them. Um, and even if you didn't date this person, it might not have gotten off the ground because someone was really busy at work, either traveling for work or they just worked a lot of long hours. Um, I just feel like putting too much energy into my profession and not enough into the relationships around me, even friendships. I feel like losing friendships 
um, disconnecting from people. It's very loner energy, but it's like, well, fine. If, you know, if you don't want to make time for me, I feel like this is what people are saying to you or have said or whatever. Um, or you said to this person in the past is like, if you don't want to make time for me, then I'm not going to make time for you. Like, you know, it's nice to have money. It's nice to do well at your job and blah, 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 and get ahead. But you know, you got to have that work life balance. And I feel like somebody doesn't have that. They didn't have it in the past and they still don't. It's something that needs to be worked on. And then we have the signs are with you already and guidance, but where will it lead you? So I feel like you guys are being guided in a new direction or in a specific direction some of you it could be for work even like to get out of this job because i feel a lot of stress a lot of worry like um high demand basically whether that's your profession or this other person's but i feel like if any of you are asking for guidance you know what to do for work i feel like you already have gotten the answers you just you're confused you just you don't want it's like your stability is on the line in a sense some of you this is about relocation um, you might want to move closer to somebody, to an ex-person, or to somebody new, a love interest, so, or they want to come towards you, but they don't know if, um, if they'll be well received. I feel like this person, whether you dated them or not, they're very worried about appearance, about what other people think, judgments, um, making the wrong choice, or that's how you feel. Someone is letting their ego block their inner guidance, their inner compass, because they're receiving, I feel like you're receiving signs, synchronicities, um, especially numbers on the clock or just numbers in general. Um, maybe you're looking at like YouTube readings and you're looking at like how long the video is and there's a specific number. It could be like 13 seconds or 13 minutes or something, um, whatever the number is to you, but I feel like you're seeing it everywhere and it's correlating. Um, w it's like it's making sense when it comes to this person, old or new, like I said. I don't know. It's just I hear someone asking, is it the right choice if I, if I go back to this person? Will this person accept me? Does this person have feelings for me? And you're getting answers. You're just not understanding the answers that you're receiving is what I'm getting. So let's see. Sorry, it's raining. I live on a main road, so you're going to hear traffic even louder because of the rain. We have the Two of Wands reversed and the Knight of Cups in the upright, which is kind of Casanova energy, but I'm not really picking it up so much as like player. It's more somebody has made a decision to move forward and offer, um, make a romantic offer, basically. Because to me, this is not knowing which direction to go in or which person to choose. Um, I feel like somebody's made the choice. They choose you, Sagittarius, or you have chosen um, this other person. And I feel like it's just a matter of when. Like, when do I approach this person? What do I say? Um, whether they're approaching you or you're approaching them. But I feel like somebody wants to tell someone that they have feelings for them, whether it's a past person or a new person. And the first thing that I got when I started tapping into this energy was spying. Somebody doesn't know what to do. They feel like they're at a loss, so they're just watching. They're trying to, I feel like this person, either you or them, have thought this situation to death. It's like, I've prayed over this, I've meditated, I've, I've had this dream, I've had that dream, I've, you know, I've looked you up online. One of you is spying more heavily than the other one, though. I feel like whoever's coming towards you, Sagittarius, or whoever you're going towards, whoever's going to make the offer um, express how they feel is the one that's heavily spying because they just don't know what to say yet. So it's almost like in watching you or in you watching them, whoever's doing that, they're seeing where you're at in life and it's giving them more of an understanding of like the thing, your interests, um, who's in your life, what to talk about, or what to say to get into your good graces, or something like that. So that's what I feel like, that's why I mean, I feel old and new, it's like half and half. Some of you, this is a past person coming back, and others of you, this is someone brand spanking new. You might know who it is, I feel like you would know who it is, but maybe, I don't know, I almost feel like 
you would know that this person had feelings for you. You've had that inclination. Maybe you're not trusting the, your intuition when it comes to that, but you definitely question it. Like, I think this person likes me. They're interested. Something like that. High Priestess. This is all hush-hush, keeping it to ourselves. So there is a love offer on the table, but it has not been put on the table yet so it's almost like the waiter is delayed they're waiting for the final touch on the plate before they bring it towards you someone wants to ask you out on a date sag or you are just like getting fed up with waiting and you're like fuck it i'm gonna ask yeah there's definitely no clarity over the past somebody wants to be smart about this they're trying really hard to figure out what to say it's like i only get one shot at this I fuck it up, it's done. Like, I feel like there's a lot on the line, or that's how someone's feeling. They're definitely thinking of the past. Oh my god, they got feels for you. Someone is heartbroken over a past ending. Whether it's an ending with somebody else or an ending with you. And I feel like this is some... Th a connection ended between you and this person whether it was you guys were friends someone had a crush and it didn't go according to plan you guys aren't friends anymore um or this is an ex for most of you it's probably an ex but like i said 50 50 yep there was an ending in the past someone's reminiscing they want to tell you that they that they have feels for you it's almost like i've never stopped loving you is what i feel Someone's even going to tarot readers or psychic mediums to try to figure out um, if they're making the right choice or someone or you're in love with a tarot reader. I feel uh, like metaphysical things going on here. You're definitely being guided, but it's funny because I feel like I feel like one day whoever this is and maybe both of you are feeling this way it's like one day it's like yep i understand all the signs and synchronicities synchronicities i'm getting i'm going you know balls to the walls i'm i'm moving on and i'm going to say what you know how i feel and then it's almost like right before this person approaches you or sends a message or whatever they second guess themselves and they're like oh, i don't know is this the right choice somebody's focusing on it too hard so they're missing um significant details that your guides are trying to tell you someone's coming back this person wants to tell you they love you or vice versa if i'm talking to a cross watcher excuse me um what am i doing i'm jumping the gun here because that's not how i read these spreads someone doesn't want to skip okay i feel like in the past if this is someone that you dated in the past you guys skipped a few steps like you rushed the process um someone could have mistaken it for love bombing or that's what you think happened um i feel like it was just this was just a rushed experience it's almost like having a kid and then getting married kind of doing things a little backwards and i'm not saying you have children with this person maybe some of you do but i feel like too much too soon and not wanting to make the same mistake but yet being kind of impatient at the same time because I just wanted to jump right in and just tell you you know feelings here so this person really wants to know how you feel about them and I feel like you want to express your feelings hmm the only, for some of you, not all of you I almost feel like when this person comes back to make an offer to, to you you're going to have a choice because I feel like you might have feelings for someone else and it's going to be like a triangle. Like they approach you, they're watching you and then they approach you, but you're watching somebody else and you're going to approach somebody else and it, then it's going to be like, oh no, what do I do? Uh, someone is waiting too long is what I feel. Um, so in the headspace, we have nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Somebody could also be drinking. Um, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She's very loving, nurturing, caring. This is kind of, um, it's kind of motherly in a sense. I just feel like, you, I feel really happy. Like, you make me really happy. I want to give to you like you gave to me. Or, 
you're the only person I want to give to is what I feel. Then we have the Three of Swords reversed. So this is wanting to heal a situation. Like, can we give it another go around? I haven't been happy um, since you've been gone. The grass was definitely not greener on the other side. I feel like somebody's feeling a little regretful of how things ended in the past or at the fact that it never got off the ground to begin with. Because like I said, for some of you, you didn't date this person. You might have met him at a bar. I feel like somebody has an issue with alcohol in this situation, whether it's you or them, or there was just somebody in the situation. It could be a mutual friend or family member. Um, somebody definitely, and this, this could just be coming up because um, it will make you realize who I'm talking about. This person, I don't feel like this person has gone to... Um, AA, but like a fatherly figure or a male in their life, in their family. So it could either be a close friend of theirs or like a dad, stepdad, uncle, something like that. Um, goes to AA meetings, Alcoholics Anonymous. Somebody might be trying to, um, Heal from an alcohol addiction as well. So, because uh, I, uh, with that coming up, it's either going to let you know who this person is, or it's going to let you know that it's hereditary. That there's like, um, that this person has a highly addictive nature, or you do. Could come from your mother's side of the family, or it could be your mother. Hmm. Or theirs. I don't know. I just I don't feel like that really is the main focus of this person. This person could be heavily thinking about their mother or this person who does have who deals with alcoholism because um, they might want to try to help them get through this or you do. I also feel like if you did date this person, alcohol could have been an issue in the past. Like somebody gets kind of mean when they drink. Not necessarily physical for some of you. It could have been to that extent, but I get more along the lines of someone running their mouth. Knight of Pentacles, moving very slow. Yeah, some, I feel like either you're moving very slow towards this person or they're moving slowly towards you, and it's because they've been healing. They're either healing from some kind of addiction, like I said, or dealing with their mother because their mother could be in and out of the hospital or have health issues or yours does. Yeah, it's a family situation. I feel like this person's very focused at work because it helps them keep their mind off from all the shit that's going on around them or what's going on around you. Someone could have Virgo in their chart. Yeah, somebody just doesn't want to think about if if someone in their life, someone close to them, is going to make it through this situation. So someone's dealing with a health concern and I, I don't feel like it's your person. For some of you, it could be your person or yourself. But I almost feel like there's a sick mom. It's either your mom or their mom. And I know I was picking up on the meddling mother energy in the first reading that I was talking about that I didn't post yet. This mom could be that type, like, that type of person. But I feel like she might use her health, her poor health as a way to keep her family together um so it could have split you guys up in the past or that's what's taking this person so damn long to come back around or what's taking you so long is because you're dealing with a family matter and it heavily involves your mom it's almost like you can't leave you can't move you can't relocate you gotta stay here and do this because you need to take care of me Hmm. Someone has a son. Someone also has a dog. I feel like whoever has a son, it's more than likely a Virgo son. Like a little boy who's a Virgo, probably three, four, five years old. Like little. I don't feel like this child lives with this person. And I'm, I'm talking to a father. The child lives with his mother. I feel like the, the father of the son, he has a dog, but not his child. I also feel child support is keeping somebody 
from relocating or from moving forward with you or vice versa. It's almost like if I relocate and move towards you, you might live near where this person's son is. Or child. It could be a daughter, but I see a little boy. Can I get more on this? And if you do have a child with this person, you're like baby mama, they might want to come towards you and have their family back. And for some of you, there might not even be a child involved. That could just be one message for one person. Um, you guys could have discussed starting a family and maybe you're not having children. You have you had a pet instead or you'll settle for getting a dog instead of having children kind of thing or they will, something. I don't know, there's a dog in here somewhere. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude. Bliss. Love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah, this person knows that they could have it all with you. They, I almost feel like if they didn't want to have a family back then, or even if they did and it just didn't happen, I feel like this person wants to have a family with you now. Hmm. Something like that. So let's see. Mutual feelings. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. There are definitely lies, but I feel like there are lies in the past and someone wants to recover and heal from that. But I feel like someone was lied to. Like, I feel like there were lies between you and this person, especially if this is an ex. You know, like during or towards the end of your relationship. But I feel like this mother... There's a mother, whether it's baby mama or it's your person's mother or your mother. There is a motherly figure or a parent. I'll say a parent because for some of you it could be a father. But I feel this mother for some reason. Anyways, she caused a lot of problems between the two of you is what I feel. Because she lied to her child about a sickness, about needing help, needing money, needing something. Needing their time. Um... I feel like I'm being pinned against someone. So maybe this person's family ganged up against you and that's what ended the connection. Um, this is coming to light and I almost feel like your person didn't even know what was going on behind the scenes kind of thing. They're figuring it out. Someone was working really hard to tear you two apart um, and it worked. But I feel like the love never went away, and it's creating more problems now. Um, but it's all coming out. I feel like that might be an initial conversation, because someone really wants to tell you that they love you, that they're sorry, that they chose wrong, and this is going to be brought to the table. There's definitely something's coming to light. Don't ever lose yourself in the idea of someone else. Always maintain a sense of self. So maintain your independence no matter what happens between you and this person, old or new, or even anyone new. Um, make sure that you never give too much of yourself, basically. Because then you can see things more clearly. I feel like that's what convoluted a lot of things up to this point. This situation will come back around when you least expect it. Yeah, this person's coming back or you're going back. Someone has something to own up to. I almost feel like if this person acted like they didn't love you or didn't have feelings for you, they were full of shit because they did. They were listening to their mom or family. Third party, yeah. This person wants to reconcile, but they were hiding another person. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be... Um, cheating like I do feel infidelity here but I feel like the mother the family um intruding this person's finding out about just how far this mom or dad or family member went to separate the two of you they were working really fucking hard at tearing you two apart and it worked and it's all coming out now I feel like this this third energy, this external person or people, they actually got your person to to date someone new, potentially someone they work with. 
Hmm. I feel like it was all over money, too. It's almost like the family wanted you to date somebody because they had money and the other person didn't, or vice versa. Could have been the situation with this this person. I feel like you they they spent a lot of time. They could be the ones watching still. I feel it to to create these blockages and to cause this drama and distress at work. That's what they were working towards. This person could have even affected your job. Could have caused problems at work, spreading rumors. I feel like travel delays. Uh, wow. I don't know. Someone went to extreme lengths to make sure you and this person uh, broke up. There's some kind of vendetta here. And I don't even feel like it has to do with who you are or like you as a person or cross watcher I feel like it's just this this family member this motherly figure is just very controlling and wanted her son or daughter to live to you know to be near him or her like I don't know it's almost like seeing potential in no that's not what I wanted to say it's like um I don't know why I just heard mom, Mommy Dearest, but that's fucked up because she's craziness. But no, what I was going to say, what the fuck was I going to say? It's like when, um, like, we'll say a, a guy, he's a mama's boy and always goes to his mom for advice, blah, 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 whatever. And so she's an integral part of his life. Once he finds somebody he loves and marries that person or is just highly committed to her, you know, mom gets replaced. You go to your spouse or your person for advice and support. So the mom feels rejected. So I feel like it was a scenario like that where mom was like, nope, my child loves you way too much. You've got to go. You know, I need my, my son to still need me. So there's a lot of insecurities within the family. Yep. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image. It has to do with self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. I feel like someone's really going inward and figuring this out. They're seeing, they're finally seeing the signs. The signs have been there all along, but they're finally seeing them because they were very misguided, possibly because they were just working too hard, like at work and not seeing everything. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. You guys still love each other, and you guys... I feel like this person... Yeah, that's why they ran away. Um, this person got into a karmic situation, got into a, another connection um, that appeased their mom or dad or family or whatever. I feel like it has to do with money and attention, um, like social status, because I, I wanted to look at like self-image like I have an image to uphold and this karmic person potentially someone your person your ex whoever um, worked with or who you worked with there's sabotage written all over this but I feel like it's coming back around and what you've always known because I feel like whoever got left um, or divorced or whatever whoever got left behind knew this all along and the person who has this mother or father or family member who is butting their nose in where it doesn't long it belong is finally seeing it it's taken a lot of time i feel like they they feel like they've wasted a lot of time they've missed a lot of time and it's almost like this had ended over something dumb over something it was very unnecessary is what i feel um but i do feel like there were lessons tied to this and part of it is so that this person can stand up for themselves and learn um to grow to grow a set basically to get to grow a backbone to not let somebody take advantage of them like that because i feel like your ex, especially if this is your ex, and I really feel that way, they could have lost a very beautiful opportunity um, 
Because I feel like not all of you will accept this person back, and that's something that they're going to have to live with forever. This is like the psycho mom shit. It's nuts. Maybe I will post the other reading. Because, I mean, I saw it going as far as, you know, legit poisoning somebody, making somebody sick. It was fucking nuts. And I'm feeling the psycho mom in here somewhere, and she's just very overbearing is what I'm getting now. I'm not getting those creepy details this time, but... This woman is putting a lot of work into keeping her child away from you or keeping you away from this person, the love of your life. Hmm. So your wants and or needs. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. It's a lot of work. I feel like you just had, there was giving up energy. It's like too hard to, <coughs> to maintain this image and, um, Yeah. Somebody's walking away from the control. This is very controlling behavior, manipula manipulation. Um, I feel like you've had enough, Sag. So if this is on your side, you're walking away from that family member, that mother, that father, that whoever. Because um, it could even be a boss for some of you. Maybe you guys work together or you're in love with your boss or you were and that's the karmic. But anyways, besides that, I feel like it's just been a heavy burden on you This and finding this out it's making you want to walk away and go back towards this person potentially to provide um, closure at the very least even if it's not um, to rekindle something but you just don't know what to say and if that's not on your side like you don't have the meddling family member or mother I feel like you have wanted this person to walk away from that situation and from the karmic relationship that they got themselves into for a while but you gave up on it it's almost like you you wanted I almost feel like you wanted this person to walk away and come back to you but part of you just knew it would it would just be too much work like having this connection come back together it would be too much work because some because of this controlling family member or because this person has those controlling traits as well um, like the apple didn't fall too far and it's like no one's gonna fucking control me so it's almost like you know you need to just kind of drop it even though it's not exactly something you wanted to do I feel like it would be easier to let go of now because there's been some time and space apart from this person but I almost get a sense that this is the type of person that you love them so much that you do get wrapped up in them which is why it says don't lose yourself in somebody. Like, main, always maintain a sense of self. It's almost like I get a sense that you, you tend to lose control around this person. Or they lose control around you. It could be vice versa. And it's just because of, there's such strong, there's such a strong connection there. It's almost like you lose all control. Or they do. Can I get more on wants and on needs, please? I don't think I really... Well. The butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. But then we have not today and the chaser. It's like, it's exactly what I said. It's like you, you want things to work out. You want to be able to put the work in. But part of you just knows it's going to take too much work. And it's... It's too hard to deal with this fucking asshole family member or this controlling behavior, no matter who it's coming from. So it's like, it's just, I can't deal with this today. I know I need to pull myself away from this, but I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the headache of it. Um, and if that's not you, then you just know that this person is a doormat and they don't, uh, they don't handle confrontation very well. And I, if, especially if it comes from a parent or a mother, I feel like this person would definitely have a hard time um, facing or standing up to that person if that's the case. Because I don't feel like it's you. I mean, it could be because it, you know, it could be picking up on someone who has Sagittarius in their chart. Um, or it could be a Sag, Sag connection. Like you both have Sagittarius prominently in your charts and that's why it's getting kind of confusing on who the fuck is who here. But there's definitely an injustice feeling left out. 
It's like wanting to work on things, but n knowing that it isn't going to go anywhere is what I feel. I feel like whatever comes to light is going to be extremely unsettling. Like, it's going to really piss somebody off, but it's going to hurt the other person even more. Like, I can't even believe you allowed so-and-so to do that to us or, you know, something like that. So this person want, wants and or needs is the Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning. And this could go 50-50 as well. This is like, um, I feel like somebody's getting a new job. Could be this person starting a new career path. Um, and they're, it's pretty successful, like they have new opportunities. And then what I was getting 50-50 of is some of them want a new opportunity with you. They want to start over, Sag. While others are just like, nope, that ship has sailed. You know, I already have new things um, approaching. Even if I still have some sort of love for you, I know that I need to move forward. I just heard this person, for some of you, another group of you, this person knows that you've already moved on. They've seen your new beginning because there was that spying energy. And they've just chalked it up to a, you know, a past experience. I really feel like someone wants something new, but they just don't know how to attain it. Well, yep. They could have been manifesting you. Communication. This person knows you're going to reach out to them, or vice versa. Then we have the wheel after that. Wanting to move forward. Divine timing. Taking a leap of faith and having this connection. This is kind of being, this is hesitating. I feel like this person is waiting for you to make an offer. Because I don't know, I don't know which side you're on, Sag, but right here, whoever's over here, you or them, this person's wants and or needs is they do want a new beginning. For the, for the majority, they want a new beginning and I feel like they want it with you or you want it with them. They're not going to take this risk, though. They want you to make the offer to them because they feel like they know that you are with somebody else because they've been spying. Or you know that they're with somebody else because you've been watching. There's still a third person here, but I feel like this is like a reconciliation, but there's hesitation. It's like wanting this... <sighs> but not knowing how to get it is what I feel. Hmm. They don't want to be foolish. It's definitely a soulmate connection. This person has feels for you. They don't want to be stupid. It's like if we... It's like they want the connection, but they know that there's... There's a lot of work that needs to... Um, working too hard it's going to take a lot of work to get this off the ground to keep to keep the stability to heal the situation healing heart hmm not today it's like one of you wants to to heal this and move forward and express yourself and the other person's like I just I can't do it right now and I feel like it there's it's because there's obstacles in the way and it has to do with this family member this outside family member the mother or something meddling mother gotta love it so I feel like I just can't deal I'm just gonna work I know that I need to move forward. I know I'm in a bad situation or I'm with the wrong person. I'll just keep thinking about you or I'll pretend like everything's fine and just put my head down at work and bust my ass. I even feel like if if either you or this person, whoever is in a connection, because one of you is still with somebody, with a karmic person, okay, in a connection, a loveless connection, whoever's in that connection is choosing to work seven fucking days a week to work overtime because they don't want to be home. They don't want to be around that person and they don't want to have to sit still because they start thinking about you or you start thinking about them. It's something like that. So they're just trying to stay so busy that they just can't think because they can't deal with, 
you know, having to put the mom in their place, having to break up, having to find a place, having to, th there's like this whole checklist of shit to do um, to get everything straight and correct for the two of you to be together that they just don't, like, nope, it's too much, I can't do it. There's a lot of work here. So I almost feel like they're walking away from what the divine is guiding them to do because they just can't handle it right now. There's a lot going on is what I feel. And that's either you or them. This is your side. So it could be like you just don't want to deal. So your feelings. If you're over here, it's heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and learn this lesson now and jump off the karmic merry-go-round. What did I just say? I fucking feel like, okay, whoever's over here, I'm reading it as you, Sag. I confuse myself when I go back and forth. So I'm just going to say it this way. So don't get in the comments going, no, that's not true. That's how they feel whatever this is your side for now even if it isn't <laughs> i feel like in your feelings you want to reach out and make an offer to this person tell them how you feel um and let go of whoever the fuck you're with so whoever's over here has the karmic person they have they're partnered with somebody they're in the loveless connection they want to get the fuck away from that person, but they're not dealing with it. They know that they need to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with whoever they're with and move on from that, but they also want to open up and have a conversation with you and let you know what had happened, give you that clarity on the past and kind of see where it goes. But I feel a lot of hesitation and fear here. This person's feelings is passion. Allow your heart, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. A chance encounter will change your life if you allow it. I feel like this person definitely has a lot of passion for you. They're drawn to you sexually, especially. There's that lustful energy, but I feel I feel love. There's a, there is a lot of love. You both reciprocate each other's feelings, whether you want to admit it or not. Um, but I also feel like this person views you as if you were to come forward, that it would be for sex only. They feel that that's all that it would be, basically. Can I get more on heart to heart conversations? I almost get a sense that in order to prove yourself to this person or cross watcher in order to prove, you know, yourself to Sagittarius, you're going to have to take it slow and handle it the right way and not, um, and not just come in and have sex, no matter how drawn you are to them, you know, don't. That's all they'll think it is if you just come in and have sex with them. So make sure you take a more genuine approach, basically. Unless that's all you want. And then talk it out and do, do the deed, whatever. But the star reversed, yeah. This is wanting to heal a situation. Wanting to heal from the past. Yeah, because somebody hasn't moved on. You still got the love and feelings for this person. I feel like this is needing to... I feel like you might need to relocate. You guys do not live near each other. Whoever I'm talking to, you guys don't live near each other. It's like every... I, I carry you with me everywhere I go. Even though... Right girl, wrong time look that song up too but it's almost like everywhere I go I see you you've you, <clears throat> you it's a song you've been to all these places without even going but the whole right girl wrong time is like I've never I've never let you go I've never let you go I've never healed from this you know even though we're not together physically we've always been together in spirit I feel a connection like that I get more on passion and a chance encounter. I feel like you two are going to reconnect and it's going to catch this person off guard. So whoever's over here and has, you know, thinks that the other person's only coming back for sex, even though you're sexually drawn to them or this person's sexually drawn to you, um, I do feel like you're going to randomly run into this person. For some of you, it's legit random, while others of you, it was planned because they've been watching you. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's wifey. That's also a mother. I 
I feel like for some of you, this person's karmic person, especially if I'm talking to a female and your person is a male or, or whatever, it could be same sex, but um, if their karmic person, the one that they're not in love with, that they're still with, if that person is an earth sign for one, but if that person is a female or very feminine, I almost get a sense that they're going to reach out to you or you're going to reach out to their person and say something. The shitteth will hitteth the faneth. It's almost like whoever they're in a relationship with that they don't love, your person, whoever this fucking person is, it could be an earth sign for all I know, or Aquarius, um, their, whoever they're currently dating, their karmic partner, might contact you because they think that you're you're sleeping with with them or they're going to ask you about infidelity do you know you know who so and so is sleeping with or i don't know i almost feel something like that for someone that's not for everyone though seven of wands stand in your ground yeah it's going to make you have to stand up for yourself because this person might accuse you of it like why are you talking to my man why are you talking to my woman like you know they don't want you anymore it's like well if they're reaching out and talking to me or talking to everyone else obviously they don't fucking want you either so it is what it is but uh it's like don't come up in my fucking dms and chew me a new asshole who the fuck do you think you are bitch like i don't know i see a fight um because they don't look very fucking happy and it's almost like fighting over this person or this person is creating the drama could be the meddling mother as well so if it's not there, the person that they're with, some truth is getting spilled by mama or by the love, the loveless karmic. You're finding some shit out, Sag, or shit's being, or you're delivering shit. I don't know. There's truth coming out here. I feel a battle, and it's gonna cause someone to end. A current connection a third party connection and travel towards you more than likely because now we have soulmate energy and then I saw that that child up here this is also children somebody could have knocked somebody up too just FYI um, I think I said that already in the beginning but someone wants to go back to the past unfinished business can we start over And it's going to create a fight. Oh, shiitake. Um, can I get more on feelings? Heart to heart conversations, please. Hmm. I can't wait to see the obstacles and blocks and actions. The outcome of this situation, jeez. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, paradise. Yeah, this person, you miss this person or they miss you. I just heard addicted to love. Um, Might as well face it, you're addicted to love. Bow, bow. Anyways, um, yeah, with that whole right girl, wrong time, that song, it's, it's all about still being in love with somebody and... It's like you've always been the one for me, but we our lives just took us in different directions, and I kind of see that here. I feel somebody could have relocated for work even, but um, the meddling mother could be a Libra too, or this karmic person. Someone has Libra in their chart if they're not a Libra, but they're the one that's watching because that tree looks like an F, and it made me think of Facebook. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, uh, arriving, moving on, closure issues. This is definitely going to bring in the closure that you need, but I feel like you're going to find out that this person is having a hard time getting over you and that they want you back. It's almost like them being committed to this karmic person. And you probably know this. You've probably felt it. Is not what the it's not the person they wanted they think of you 
So, your expectation, Sag, if you're over here, is a Four of Cups. It's rejection. It's missed opportunity. And then their expectation is the Three of Wands. It's being left waiting and wanting. Um, waiting for shit to go down. I feel like this person over here has been waiting for you to return or has been waiting for the, the return of this connection. They knew it was going to come back around. Um, and I feel like, Sag, if you're the one making this offer or bringing this information to this person, you're expecting them to turn you down. You're expecting them to reject your offer to like because it's too much work. They're bored of the situation. If you're not the one bringing um, the news to this person or, you know... Um, expressing your feelings to them then you just expect that this is not going to go anywhere that this ship has sailed basically so it's either you don't want it to come back because you just know it's too uh, there's too many factors too many too much shit in the situation a situation a situation um or you think that they're going to reject you one or the other so either you're going to be doing the rejecting or they're going to reject you that's your expectation that's what you're assuming is going to happen that doesn't mean it's fact it's just the way that someone's perceiving the situation while the other person whether it's you or the, or whoever you're dealing with has been waiting they knew that this was going to come back around they knew that you couldn't stay away forever they knew that you made it the wrong move when you left and I feel like they knew all along that your mother or family member was butting their nose in where it didn't belong and that they were the problem. You know? Four cups, please. We have the Eight of Wands reversed. Yeah, that's creating blockages. This person not moving towards you or you not moving towards them. It's like... That, that ship has sailed, basically. But I feel like this is kind of a show. This is just an expectation, though. So, if this... If you actually act this way, Sag, it's... It's a show. Somebody's fucking watching you. There's a little rat right here. I feel like somebody chose wrong. It's almost like this person chose this cup with the rat next to it and they're looking up at this all daydreamy like oh, why I, I should have stayed now look now there's all these blockages between us you know now there's a huge gap there's literal distance now they don't want me back they're happy without me kind of thing so this is kind of a pessimistic view whether that's your expectation or not. I just feel like whoever's over here just thinks that the other person's happy without them. Um, they made a mistake. Someone made a mistake. Seven of Swords reverse. This is past, sneaking away in the past. And we have the Ace of Cups with the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, and the Wheel of Fortune moving forward. Oh. I feel like this person just, whoever's over here has been waiting because they have a lot of love and passion for you, Aries Leo Sag. So this person's definitely in love with you. They know they fucked up. They know they created problems or they know that you did. I feel like it would be some, it would take time definitely to get past everything that had happened. But because of the circumstances, I almost feel like whoever's over here would be willing to um, give this another go around. I feel like both of you would be willing for who I'm reading for to an extent, but there's like the outside factors or people would need to go away. Like it's like we need to remove, remove ourselves from the problem in order to fix this kind of thing. So I do feel like travel would be involved and whoever has that pain in the ass mother, if you're the mom, no offense, but this person's kind of el nuts, I was just going to say. Um, she's very obsessed with her child. And I'm a mom, and I got a son and a daughter. I get it. Like, you know, I got a mama's boy, but not to that extent. Um, 
I just feel like in order for this to actually work, that that parental figure would need to um, butt the fuck out and whoever whoever's mother or family member is acting that way, they would have to move away from them. It's like, be honest with your parent, be honest with yourself, be honest with your family, and get the fuck out of Dodge. If you want this to work, get away from your past. Your past is holding you back, or holding this person back, whoever, whichever. But there's still love here, and there's definitely potential for this to move forward in a positive way, and to get out of this sneaky energy. It's almost like someone's been waiting for someone to finally see what's been going on right in front of them to finally recognize the signs that have been there the whole time um, and move forward and make the right choice that's what I feel so that's what I have for you hopefully it makes sense um, join me over on patreon we're gonna cover obstacles and blocks actions outcomes um, advice and potentially what they want to say to you so we'll kind of pick up where we left off see where this could go within a month's time at least um please like share comment subscribe the more you interact with me the more i have to pick up on your energy and yeah i love you long time um i hope this makes sense again if you would like um me to upload the other one with the psycho mom who i mean she was poisoning people like that's what i saw it was nuts um if you'd like to see that one let me know i'll post it as a bonus but it was pretty crazy. Just gonna say, I, I don't know. Like I said, my energy just kind of flatlined halfway through, and I was just kind of talking. Like, I felt like I was affected. It was not. I'm like, I don't know if I should show anyone this one. But anywho, yeah. So we'll see where this goes. Um, there is potential, so that's great. And I feel like that's why spirit wanted it to come out. They, I feel like they also just want you to know that whoever this is to you, they're seeing the problem. They're seeing the lies. Um, all of this is unfolding in front of their eyes. And it, it's causing a lot of confusion and pain. Because they're realizing that someone that they truly cared about and loved and supported, their mother or father or whatever, um, took advantage of the situation. It took advantage of them and pushed them away from someone that they truly care about. Or pushed you away from someone you truly care about. And that's not fair to anyone. Um, so there's a lot of light bulb moments going on and there's some regret here too, but yeah, someone loves you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.